Every May, the United States creates a theme that they feel is appropriate for celebrating all of the older Americans in our country. This year, it is Make Your Mark. And we have asked many of our participants to tell us how they have made their mark. I wanted to share with you that it was my paternal grandfather who inspired me in the first place to become who I am today, a geriatric social worker for the last 37 years. And all of you for the 22 years that I've been at the JCC continue to inspire me and have confirmed what my grandfather taught me a long time ago, that you have made your mark. Many of you have suffered two world wars, many of you pandemics, some of you persecuted how to leave your countries of origin and start all over anew. And Tom Brokaw called you the greatest generation. And we at the JCC, and especially in the adult culture and Judaic department, we think you are the greatest generation for sure. Look at how creative you've been and inventive and you've educated your children and grandchildren and you have brought the country to where we are today. A day doesn't go by when I don't hear from one of my staff or somebody at the JCC that, wow, so-and-so really inspired me, or you're so lucky to work with that population, and we really do believe it. So what we did is we know you've made your mark, and we want to celebrate you. When we had our meetings, when we, had, when we have our online programming, we asked you, and many of you shared with us, and we recorded it. So we are now going to show you how you feel you've made your mark, and for you to know that you're continuing to make your mark. It, we are proud and humbled to be with you, to love you, to miss you, and to also hope to see you soon. Happy Older Americans Month. You have made your mark. Thank you. I have been a member of Temple Sinai Sisterhood for as soon as I, in fact, I'm a founder of the synagogue. That alone is making my mark. I mean, that will go down. I am a founder of the synagogue. I am one of the first sisterhood presidents. And what I went on to be was the branch president for Southern New Jersey. And I feel like that was the, the height <laughs> of, of when I think mark was, was how, well, founding the synagogue, going on to uh, things with the sisterhood. Yes. That's yeah. wonderful. Uh, well, I, I would like to say that I made my mark by being a wife and a mother and people that I'm very proud of. But my particular mark is that I was on the building committee for Temple Beth Shalom and I had blueprints on my dining room table for two years and I headed up the interior design committee along with professionals, but uh, that was a labor of love. And uh, when I walk into that synagogue, I feel like I'm in my own home and, and I, I, it's mine. It's, it, you know, it was my love that helped build it. I was fortunate to have two different uh, roles. I, owned and developed and expanded an executive recruitment firm over about 30 some years. And I sold it off to some of the folks who were working there. And I moved over to uh, getting a master's degree in Holocaust and in mm. all of the things that were around in that area. And it, and it went very well. I was very fortunate that on the night they gave out the uh, various and they were all master's degrees, the various degrees, they came over and asked me if I would like to stay and work as a professor at the, uh, at the college. And I said, yes, what, what do I have to do? Uh, you have stuff for me to fill out? And says, no, you just did it. <laughs> That's it, You're, you start next week. And I, I wound up uh, teaching there for six or seven years, maybe even eight, and I went on after that because the person who ran the entirety of the state of New Jersey's approach to the Holocaust being a, a, a thing that you teach and a thing that you develop, I 
think I was up there over 10 years uh, before, 10 or 11 before I retired. And the interesting thing was that everybody in the state of New Jersey wanted this thing to expand more. And we wound up with 32 centers at colleges wow. and schools around the, and, and, and they, the JCC. And, and with JCC. Yes, all of them. I am most pleased with the fact that my husband and I raised a strong female. That's We had an only child, and it was very important to me and to him to do that. And she is, um, she's amazing what she's achieved. Uh, she's an upper level manager at 39 in, uh, in electrical engineering, same field as her father. And she comes from a long line of strong Jewish women and strong Italian Catholic women. So we work very hard to pull her along and, you know, uh, I, it, it paid off. She's, she's doing great. And um, she's a wonderful mother. And she has, she speaks up. She has done that since she was in high school, she was reading on the altar uh, as a lector. And from then on, she's she's led meetings with corporate executives of twice her age. And she's she's done very well. And I'm, I'm proud of that. Well, I came That's to wonderful. New Jersey and uh, started teaching. I had one year in Willingboro and then came down to Cinnamonson and taught there for 43 years. And when I finished teaching, because my husband became ill, they invited me back to work on the special projects that no one would take on. So I, uh, in, in later years, after teaching in the regular classroom, I became a teacher of gifted and talented. And I did things that were kind of unusual, like my, I would have had my 35th annual invention convention this year and uh, um, a program called Brain Drain, where I involved 10 school districts with their kids uh, in problem solving. And things like um, a water festival, that was my 18th annual. So there are things that I've done that have impacted really a couple thousand kids. And many of them are still in touch with me.